everybody so I'm not this isn't gonna be a long live session I could have recorded it but today is Mustang Day because it's the only day this weekend I've got because tomorrow I have to head to North Carolina uh, to for work stuff so what is on the agenda for today well I've done a lot of mechanical stuff over the time I've had the car and it's gotten better still has some issues that I need to attend to but you know I like the car to look good or better I mean, it doesn't look bad for a 52 year old car that's you know got original paint and all that it doesn't look bad but um, it could look better we obviously have some spots on it so I'm working on cosmetic issues today so what am I doing well there are certain parts of the car that had we had replaced the part like the front valence rock guard right there that is now off Get out here hopefully the sun's not too, too bright and then the rear valence and rock guard and they were all still kind of primered and whatnot so there's the front one i've taken off got out here um and get cleaned up so i'm going to try to get those primed and painted and then i've got the those also had light fixtures so in the rear back here you can see the the two holes down there those are the reverse lights i've got the lights to put those in because i can't find the original ones that i had don't know where they got to uh, and then the big holes that are on the front of this one on either side here are front turn signals hey darling <laughs> see poly checked in well i've got those kits as well so i've been working on those so these are the cups i'm painting these so these will fit into there like so and they will have the turn signal so people will know when looking at me from the front which direction I'm turning so and that's the color of the car so I've been painting that so um, no body man this is not supposed to be the final best fit and finish in the world it's just to get it so it looks better until one day I can afford to have the whole thing done done painted and whatnot so that's what I'm working on now some cosmetic issues yeah Polly when you get home you can't pull in the garage sorry uh, oh I don't know if I shouldn't know that there's my new console that came and that's my temporary wheel cover because the old one that was on there the old wrap well was rotted and falling off the steering wheel underneath is actually in pretty good shape under there so not really cracked or anything so that's surprising so anyway there we go we're gonna keep working eventually I'll get to these spots I'm gonna wet sand these areas down um, prime them up good and then paint them I've got three cans up here of touch-up paint so they actually make the, the original color here. I got spray cans. Space coat Ford 8. That's springtime yellow. So anyway, I'm gonna get back at it. Y'all have a wonderful Saturday. Okay, folks. Been at it all day long. Did not get as far as I had wanted to, but I did make progress. The back, almost done. Just gotta put the bumper on there. Bumper guards may hold off because I'm redoing the bumper guards too. But we now have yellow rut guard in the original color without 52 years of fading on it. We also have reverse lights back in there. So now if I'm in a parking lot and I go in reverse, assuming they work, I haven't tested them yet, people will know I'm in reverse. Yay, step forward. So did get progress on the front bumper guard or rock guard or valence whatever the world it's called uh, here but it had some issues it kept getting garbage and there's still some in it as I was doing it sanding it and all that and I don't know why but anyway it's yellow now it's got to dry and I probably need to put another couple of coats on it and wet sand it between it and whatnot so that's not happening like I'd hoped this weekend but again progress was 
made and I spent too much time in the sun not drinking water although I did borrow Erica's my niece little tent thingy to set up to give me some shade while I was working which was a big help but uh, yeah I'm overheated a bit so anyway I'm gonna start putting crap up uh, I'm sorry stuff up oh I also found out my gas cap leaks the seal on it doesn't work because it was backed out a little bit more and more at an angle had gas pouring out that was not good gas is expensive so that's another thing on the list that I've got to do which you know if anybody wants to help you could pick those up from CJ Pony Parts, National Parts Depot um, so on and have one shipped to me I'm fine with that I don't mind so um, or just send me a gift card yes I'm begging for money because I'm not above that. Um, anyway, I'm just very happy to see the girl taking a little more shape. We still have a long way to go because we still have this junk to deal with. I still got a leaky transmission to deal with. I said the radio doesn't work, but it's an 80s fantastic realistic system, so it's not a big deal. Still have big chunks like this to do. Um, Still got to get the choke fixed on the carburetor because that pipe got the exhaust leaks to fix. Uh, at some point, I still need to do the rear differential, get it cleaned out, uh, changed out, and all that. I just haven't done that. Um, probably ought to change transmission fluid and filter. I got all that stuff too. Still got the fuel pump to do. Anyway, a lot of stuff to do. Of course, eventually, I'm going to get air conditioning put on the car. Yay, that would be fun. Anybody that rode in this car back when I was a teenager, or before then, well, Natalie, my sister, who's watching, remembers how fun it was in this car in the summer with black vinyl interior. So, oh yeah, I got a floor pan. Anybody that knows how to cut out and weld in floor pans that want to come help, um, can do that. Yeah, some scotch um, after a lot of water. A lot of water first but anyway i'm very excited i think we did pretty good today especially since you know i'm not a body person at all well i mean okay I, I i might be a body person i mean who would not want this marvelousness for themselves i mean look at that that's i'm in some kind of shape aren't i so hey i have lost like eight pounds since Polly went on her Weight Watcher diet, I have lost like eight pounds. We weighed in Denver last weekend. So, um, And Erica, I see you watching. Feel free, uh, if you want to, to come down and help me clean up. It would be greatly appreciated. So, yes, Natalie, you, you called me. I'm sure she'll enjoy that comment. But Okay, anyway, I'm going to go start cleaning up now. Both uh, my mess here and then myself go because apparently I'm cooking dinner. So, um, any of my folks up in North Carolina, I'll be up there next week. Going to be in Kernersville on Sunday night, Monday, teaching a GISP workshop. And then up in Raleigh at NC State teaching uh, was it, Intro to Arc GIS 1 and Learning Arc GIS Pro uh, 1. So, if anybody's up in the Raleigh area and wants to hook up, get together, let me know. So, okay, guys, y'all have a good rest of your weekend. I'm going to go clean up. Yay. Fun. Bye.